Hi, welcome to Learning Monkey. I am Raghuir. In this class, we will discuss about ambiguous expression grammar. In our previous class, we clearly discussed about how we are using context-free grammar for identifying syntax analysis. Each line we have to check whether it is syntactically correct or not. In order to check that we are using context-free grammar. In our last class, we have done one example for identifying a simple Pascal programming language for identifying if statements, while loops and uh, printf statements and uh, one of the expressions also we have done and there we have not mentioned about uh, expression grammar. How to identify the expressions that are present in the language, uh, we did not mention the context free grammar for that. Uh, in this class, we are going to understand a few top few concepts about uh, what factors you have to consider in order to write the expression grammars. Then in our next class, we are going to understand uh, the context free grammar for evaluating expressions. Coming to today's, so please watch our previous class and come back here. Coming to today's class. Uh, in this class, we are going to discuss about ambiguous expression grammar in compiler. So basics on expressions. Before going into the concept, first we have to understand the, some basics of expressions. A plus B star C has been given. So how it is going to evaluate? Star is having highest precedence. Then we are having plus and minus next level of precedence. So which one should be evaluated first? B star C should be evaluated first. And this point, uh, the grammar which we are going to write uh, should maintain this precedence. That is how we have to write the grammar. Okay. And the next one is associative. A plus B minus C, both are plus and minus, both are having the same precedence. If they are having same precedence, uh, left associativity, left, left associative is maintained. Left associative means A plus B should be first uh, done first, then minus should be done next. That is what uh, you have to follow. So these conditions, precedence associative. If you follow these conditions, then only we can evaluate the expressions that are present in our uh, language. Uh, coming to here in this class, we are going to discuss about uh, if you don't follow these conditions and if you write some ambiguous grammar for the expression evaluation, what kind of mistakes you will get? That we are trying to understand just with the ambiguous grammar, what type of mistakes we will get. In our next class, we are going to discuss about how to modify this expression grammar into unambiguous expression grammar and it is following the precedence and associative conditions. See, this is the expression grammar which written here. E tends to E means E tends to expression. E, uh, expression tends to E plus E or E minus E or E star E or ID. ID means identifier. In the lexical analysis phase, uh, variables, we call them as identifiers. Identifiers are the tokens that are generated. Uh, so that identifier A is an identifier, B is an identifier, C is an identifier. So if you use this ambiguous grammar, if you want to generate the, if you want to evaluate this expression, so we are having different, we are having confusion. So this can be done in two ways. This can be evaluated like this. A, E tends to E plus E, E tends to E star E, ID, ID, ID. So A plus B star C. First, this is done. B star C is done. The output is given as a input. Uh, then we will go with the E plus E. This is okay. But we can do like this also. E tends to E star E. E tends to E plus E. ID, ID, ID. So A plus B is done first. Then multiplication has been obtained. So ambiguous grammar is not good for compilers. Expression is evaluating in two different ways. Which way we get, we don't know. But we have to follow some standards. That is the point you have to understand. What's that standards? Precedence and associative has to be followed. Like the same way, associative is also not considered here. A plus B minus C. Which one has to be evaluated first? Plus has to be done first. A plus B. So, but here it is evaluated in two different ways. In this expression, it is evaluating B minus C is done first. Then the output is given as a a plus b a plus b minus c is going to be done later here it is uh, taking it as a plus b is done first the output is given for the negative symbol 
that is how it is getting evaluated so because of ambiguous grammars we are getting this confusion in our next class we are going to show you how to write this unambiguous grammar for the expressions hope you understand the concept if you have any questions regarding the concept please post your questions in the comment section below thanks for watching if you haven't subscribed to our channel please subscribe to our channel and press bell icon for the latest updates thank you